This is Ellie Live from Los Angeles, welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. We're all about manifestation, transformation, and breakthroughs. It's time to claim your birthright of prosperity, vitality, and love. So grab your tea or coffee because together we're awakening the world. May you live your truth. Today I'm going to get super vulnerable about my lineage trauma. And as we go into the holidays, I recognize that it can be beautiful, beautiful season. And it can also be one of the hardest seasons for people. No matter if you have family around or you are alone during the holidays or you love your family or you feel like you get triggered every time you're around your family, I think it's a really important conversation to have as we go into this beautiful and intense season so that we can really truly see through the triggers, see through the upsets in the family, see through the distance, see through the heartache, see through all the grieving, see through all of that so that we can stand in the light of love and really know the truth of who we are and see through the veils and the walls of our family, through the triggers, through all the upsets, through all that, so that we can hold miracles, miracles, miracles. Welcome to the Dr. Aaron podcast. We come together to know the truth, live on spiritual principle and align with universal law. We truly believe that somebody has a gift and message to bring to the world and together we're awakening the world. So I'm Dr. Aaron, Dr. Divinity, founder of New Thought Global and Society. I am an international bestselling author, winner of the 2020 Walden Wisdom Award with Oprah Winfrey, Greg Braden and Michael Bernard Beckwith. And most importantly, I'm a mother, I'm a friend, and I'm somebody who is deeply, deeply passionate about you ending your suffering and really truly living your best life in total freedom. And as I well up in tears right now, I have mixed feelings of joy and also feeling the suffering that is out there in the collective and that still lives in my family. And so I am here to serve and to really bring the wisdom of the universe, bring my heart and really lay it out on the line today. So I have a, I don't want to say I have a different family because I don't think there's a normal family out there. I have come from a family that on my mother's side, my grandmother was given up. uh, She was given up for adoption when she was a little girl because her mother, I believe was, um, was very young when she got pregnant. And so my grandmother on my mother's side uh, was not exactly the nicest person. She was a very cold woman, very mad and angry at the world. And I remember going there as a little girl and my mom didn't want to go. We, the longest we ever went to her parents' house was one day. That was it. And it was very uncomfortable. And I remember my mom being very upset a lot. And we would usually leave kind of, um, she, my mom would be kind of upset or pissed off or whatever it was. And I never understood as a little girl, what was going on. And, and I just remember my mom herself, she was really pretty much emotionally unavailable growing up. I love my mom. And I'm good with my mom, but my mom's really never been available. She would be kind of, you know, drinking or with the next relationship or whatever it was to kind of numb her feelings, like so many of us have done in our lifetime. And she really just wasn't there. She wasn't emotionally there. Um, I remember being in junior high and she started drinking a lot and she'd be at the bar majority of the time and there wasn't food in the house. And I was really just didn't understand. I didn't understand um, what it was like to really truly feel like I was loved. And I think through that process, I, I built up a lot of walls, of course, in my lifetime before doing my trauma work and before finding all this work. My father's side of the family was, um, was different and yet the same. My grandmother on his side was actually one of the most loving women and really was a pivotal uh, point in my life and person in my life to teach me love and, and, and really a level of love that I had never experienced. My father, however, was really trying to find himself. He had his own traumas from kind of the abuse of his father and 
um, and different stuff that happened in his life. My father ended up um, divorcing my mother and going off and having another family. And, you know, of course I had abandonment issues from that and blah, blah, blah. Right. So you're hearing a lot of stuff. And the reason why I'm sharing all this is because I know that majority of you guys out there, especially if you're, you know, have had a spiritual call, and especially if you're listening to this right now, I know that you have trauma, lineage trauma, and um, whether it be from, you know, stuff going on from your, your mother's side or your father's side or both sides, and maybe you are totally disconnected from your family, or maybe you are with your family, but you have failed expectations, or you get triggered. The point is that this is the deal. None of us are going to be okay on our deathbed if we're not connected and loving with our family. It is a soul assignment. Yes, we get to pick our soul family in this lifetime, our friends and and our community, but our family is a soul assignment. And I know as I look at my mother and my father, that they're the perfection of who they are. And so I'm going to tell you today a few things that have happened in my life, in my heart, to be able to truly love them. And I'm going to cry right now because I love you, mom and dad. I know you're probably not listening to this, but you need to know that I love you. I understand the pain that you've gone through. I understand the divided perspective that's happened within your consciousness through your own trauma. And I'm going to get really vulnerable right now. I spoke with my mom this morning at 7 a.m. her time, and she was bawling. Her and my sister had gotten into an upset yesterday, and my mom was going to be going over there for the holidays, and my sister kind of had a few things she had to do during the time she's over there. And my mom took it as that she doesn't love her, and she decided that she canceled her whole trip to go see my, my sister. And my sister, both of us have gotten into, my sister's a cognitive therapist and has diving deep into this work. And I think the blessing of where we've come from is that we, it's demanded us to do our inner work. It's demanded us to dive deep into um, our healing work and discovering what's really, truly going on. And my mother was drunk this morning on the phone whether it be because she drank so much last night that she's so hungover, but she literally was, you could tell was slurring her words. And, and I just held her in my heart, I held her in my heart. And I think that oftentimes with family, we think, well, they did this. They, you know, X, Y, and Z, whatever circumstance is going on, you know, that we try and make the circumstance wrong or what they did wrong or whatever. But the truth is that what's really going on is people are sad because they're not fully connected. And it's just going to project out. We know that no matter what my sister said or didn't say to my mom, my mom probably would find a reason to to have her trigger come up in her command that her trigger is I'm not wanted and I'm not lovable like so many of ours. Right. And we'll find the case. We're like, um, we're literally like lawyers in the courtroom finding proof for our case. And our case is I'm not enough. I'm not lovable. You know, no one likes me, whatever it is that divided perspective, something's wrong with me. I don't want to live, you know, whatever the, whatever the command is that has come in through the traumas of this lifetime and in the lineage. And as I hold my mother in my heart, you know, some things are out of our control. Yes, we have, um, my mom has gone through some trauma work, not very, not very much. You know, a lot of people will say, okay, I'm finally ready to change. And they do two sessions and they think that, you know, it worked or didn't work. It's a commitment. You know, going in and doing your deep work, we, we have lifetimes of, of work and it takes some time to really, truly get in there and do the work. My mom has actually come a long way. This is very unusual what's going on, but what I know for sure is the perfection of it. And we have to know that but the perfection of it is that sometimes we make, you know, strides ahead and then we 
fall down again. And then we make bigger strides and we may fall down again. And I know in my heart, my mind right now, the perfection of where my mother is. Because I know that she has a choice, just like all of us in this lifetime. We're either going to do our work and break our, our lineage trauma or we're not. And man, it sucks when people don't, but we also have to know the perfection of that. Sometimes people aren't meant to do their true work in this lifetime. And sometimes the next, you know, breakdown demands us to say, I have to change me. And so speaking with my mom this morning, even though she was intoxicated, even though she was in a real upset, she also said a couple things. She said, I'm so alone. What do I need to change? What can I do to change myself? And that's the first time I've ever heard her say that. What do I need to do to change myself, to change my life? That's the very first time she said that. And I don't know if she's going to remember that when she's not intoxicated. But what I know in my heart is that nothing's going to change until we change ourselves. And we can't change our family. But what we can do is we can stand for truth. We can stand for the healing. We can stand with open hearts and tough love sometimes. And I know the same for my son and for all the lineage to come in my family. I love my son. I love my sister. I love my father. I love my mother. I love my, my half brothers and sisters. I love my sister, my half sister I've never met. I have a half sister I've never met that my half brothers and sisters don't even know about, I don't think. But what I know is that the more vulnerable I get, the more transparent I get, the more real and raw I get, the more I get to experience love and depth. So I say, bring it on. Bring on the holidays. Bring on any breakdown in the family. Bring on anything that needs to be healed. Knowing that to just make people wrong is never going to get us anywhere. To wish that our parents are different than they are is never going to get us anywhere. When we listen beyond the surface level and we go down deep into the heart, mom, I know that this lifetime has been hard. I know that your mother was not able to love you. And I know, therefore, it was really hard for you to love my sister and I. And I feel that. And I know that you love me anyway. And I know no matter what, that I'm here for you a thousand percent, whether you do your work or whether you don't do your work. I'm holding you in my consciousness as the perfection that you are. You are so loved. You are so loved. You are so loved. And so as you go into the holidays, these, this next couple of weeks, you guys, I want you to know that you're loved. I'm actually going to be holding a call for the community um, that's open to the public. That will be Christmas Eve. And it will be 6 p.m. Eastern Saturn time, which means that will be what? 3 p.m. Pacific time. And it's really to get grounded into knowing that you have family. Even if you, your traditional lineage DNA family is there for you or not, you need to know that you have a soul family. You have a soul family and that I'm here for you fully a thousand percent. And as we close out this year and go into the new year, I invite you to know that we all need support. We all need family. And one of the things that I think about when it comes to my mother and to her pain and to her loneliness what I know for sure in my life is what really has saved my life is handing my life over to service, handing my life over to not wanting to get anything out of life, but wanting to give and bring things to life. The moment that I stopped looking to get love and realized that I get to be there for people in love, the moment that I gave up the story that I'm abandoned and I committed to saying I'm never abandoning anybody, that's when my life changed. And so I'm here for you guys. 
And I declare a powerful holiday season. I declare the most loving holiday season ever for my mother, for my sister, for my son, for my entire extended family. I actually am not going to be with family this year. And I am going to love each and every one of them. My son just got married and he and his wife are choosing to spend it alone. And, you know, my, my family's kind of all over and I'm so excited. I'm going to have some friends in Florida and I'm also excited to just have a little bit of downtime. It's been a very busy year. Um, we'll be connecting online. I'll be in nature. I'm going to do some deep meditation and wrap up some creative projects that I've been working on. And I'm thrilled and I'm so excited knowing that soon, I'm sure I'll be having a grandchild one of these years and we can dive way back into the holidays and do all that traditional stuff. I'm here for each and every one of you guys. I invite you to consider coming into our programs and into our community. We don't, we don't consider our programs, traditional programs. We are committed to creating a movement, committed to creating a family, committed to creating community. And, um, you can, you can go to newthoughtglobal.com, check it out. You can DM me, Dr. Aaron.tv, um, D R E R I N.tv across social media. And I just invite you as you go into this holiday and whether you're getting triggered or whatever to yes, get committed to doing your inner trauma work, but in the interim, you know, having a plan, are you going to walk outside? What are you really committed to? What are your intentions before you go into that dinner with your family or go on vacation and be staying with your family? You really need to get clear of what you're committed to. And if you're committed to making other people wrong, then the universe is going to say, and so it is, you're going to find something to make them wrong about. If you're committed to loving unconditionally and being able to, you know, be responsible for your own triggers then that's what's going to happen. Okay. You need to get clear before going into the holidays, what you're committed to. And I just know this taking a deep breath in and exhaling out. May we get real. May we get vulnerable. May we no longer shame or hide or grieve from what has happened in our lineage. May we transmute that energy and become the most powerful the most loving, the most compassionate spiritual leaders that we are born to be. May we know that we're able to look fear straight in the eyes and not even, not even blink. I'm here. I'm fully here. May I receive all the good, all the dark, all of it. May I receive myself fully and be there fully for everyone else. I am so clear right now. I am so grateful for all my lineage trauma. I'm so grateful for all the wisdom and the transmutation and the, and the leader that it has demanded me to be. I am so grateful. I am so grateful for the breakdown, the breakthrough. And in this, I declare world-renowned spiritual leaders in our community, profound, profound masters of understanding universal laws. I declare with the power of my word that all emancipation from suffering I recognize that you may be born of your parents, but you are not born of your parents. You are born of divine. You are born of spirit. And that each one of your family members is the opportunity for you to embody love, powerful transformation, love. And I say, yes, yes, yes. I release this into the law as together we say, and so it is. Okay. You guys have a beautiful holiday season. Uh, I will shout out on my social media and we'll be putting an email out for that call for Christmas Eve at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means 3 p.m. Pacific Time, which means whatever that is. Let's see, that's um, 3, 4, 5 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And yes, 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 let's do this. As together we say, and so it is. Thank you for listening to The Dr. Aaron Show. I wanted to personally invite you into a couple things. One, we have a spiritual entrepreneur program that's open up this week. And I just want to remind you guys that we have a huge bonus with it this week. The spiritual entrepreneur program is not just about a 12-week program of reprogram your subconscious mind 
transforming your trauma and birthing your purpose. It also is a 12 step program to really be able to launch and scale your business online. And we're going way beyond the 12 weeks. We're actually offering an entire year of soul circle calls, support calls with you, because we want to really build a community with you. We don't want you to just go into a program with us and then be like, see ya, bye. We actually want you to come into our family and really experience it. And we're offering it such an inexpensive price because we know that there's going to be a lot of people coming to that program that will want to actually rise up and be part of the community. Um, and so we want to offer it at a ridiculously inexpensive price. You can go to newthoughtglobal.com and you can go there um, forward slash spiritual dash entrepreneur. You can also just DM me and we'll get you a link. But there's another huge bonus with it, which is we have a bonus uh, that ends uh, this week that is the 150K uh, five-day challenge launch course. So it's actually going to teach you how to create your own five-day challenge, or you can say a three-day challenge or any kind of value sequence. I teach you everything from how we did ads, how we set up the Facebook group, how we did email campaigns, everything front to back, everything, everything I teach. And you don't want to miss out on that. I have spent $40,000 in a group to get trained in how to do those things. So this is a, a bonus that ends uh, tomorrow night by midnight. So you want to make sure that you get that because it's worth its weight in gold. It's worth 10 times more than even what the actual program for the whole program. And you're going to get some other bonuses. You're going to do a two day virtual retreat with me that you can do along with a bunch of other great, incredible things. You're going to dive into an incredible community to support you, love you, and have you take a quantum leap in this year. Also, I want to give a big shout out that guess what? I'm officially going to be doing a call-in show. So what you can expect from this show is we've had some great series. I've done series on money breakthroughs. I've done series on E4 trauma method. I've done series on universal law. I've done so many great series. And now it's time for me to do a call-in show. So you can actually be on the show. We're going to be doing a video and audio call-in and transformation. I'm going to actually be coaching one-on-one taking people through the processes, taking them through E4 trauma method, teaching universal law, science of mind, metaphysics, everything. And you can get on the show. And all you got to do is you can uh, go to New Thought Global and at the top, it says podcast, and you can actually fill out a little form to get on the show to have a huge breakthrough. And so I'm going to be doing that. You can also, uh, you can also text or message, uh, at the phone number three, two, three, five, three, eight, five, six, four, six. And this is going to, you can leave a voice message with a question and I can actually play it back and answer it on the show. You can also text in your question and you can also text there to, if you want to get on the show and we'll send you the link. Okay. I'm really super excited because guess what this next year, my commitment is to bring you call-in shows and to bring you traditional power talks, ministerial talks, teaching, not God outside of the self, but really truly metaphysics, how you are the creator, how you truly are through the law of attraction, through universal law, through all of it. I'm going to break it all down for you guys this year. So you do not want to miss this. Please subscribe, share this show with a friend. Let's rise together. Let's rise together. Again, you can go to newthoughtglobal.com and you can go to the top to the podcast and fill a little, little form out and get on the show. Or you can call or text in to 323-538-ERIN, E-R-I-N. So that's 323-538-5646. Let's do this thing. You guys have a beautiful day and may you live your truth.